Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hema Subramanian. When it comes to kebabs, I think most of the time we enjoy them at restaurants. But you know, we can make all these kebabs at home. Today I have a wonderful kebab recipe for you guys. This is paneer sheik kebab. This is very simple to make with very simple ingredients and it's very very tasty. Let's get started and check it out. For the paneer sheik kebab, to a bowl, add 200 grams of finely grated paneer. Next, add 1 medium sized potato that's been boiled and grated, 1 teaspoon of finely chopped ginger, 1 teaspoon of finely chopped garlic, 1 teaspoon of finely chopped green chilli. Now you can adjust the spice according to your taste. Next, add 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon cumin powder, half teaspoon garam masala powder, 1 teaspoon chaat masala powder, half teaspoon salt, 3 teaspoons corn flour, quarter cup breadcrumbs. And finally add about 2 teaspoons of finely chopped coriander leaves. So I'm just going to mix everything and knead it nicely till you get a nice doughy consistency. So now we're going to start making the kebabs. For this take a little bit of the mixture. Gently press it into the skewer stick. Just shape it till you get a nice elongated shape. Just even it out. Using both your hands, you can just roll it so it's nice and even. So you can see it's come out very nicely. Keep this aside. So skewer the mixture and once it's all ready, then we will fry them. So next I'm going to fry the sheik kebabs. For this to a pan, pour a little oil. So once the oil is hot, gently place the skewered kebabs into the pan. Fry them till they're a nice golden brown color on all sides. Make sure you turn them at intervals, so you get a nice even colour on all sides. Maintain the flame on medium while doing this. So you can see the sheik kebabs are done, it's got this lovely golden brown colour on all sides. So gently remove from the pan and keep it aside. Serve it hot with some nice mint chutney by the side. Those paneer sheik kebabs look so delicious. You can see you can easily make them at home in minutes. So if you're having some dinners or get-togethers, this is something that you can whip up and you can serve your guests and your family members. Everybody will enjoy it. So do try the recipe, enjoy and share it with your family and friends. 